And let's begin by getting your reaction coming in from the BJP on Rahul Gandhi and his press conference. Union Minister Anurag Thakur has spoken out. Referring to Rahul Gandhi as the foreigner, he says the foreigner has finally returned but should now go ahead and issue an apology for the remarks that he made in the United Kingdom. Also repeating the Tukre Tukre gang jibe. He's saying that all those who worked with him, went abroad and insulted the nation must now apologize. देश के बारे इस तरह के विचार रखना ये दुर्भाग्य है जी ये पार्टी जो खुद 60 साल सत्ता में रही और अब उनको भी विदेश में जाकर किसी ने ज्ञान दिया कि जब इंदिरा जी भी विदेश आई थी तब देश के बारे में कुछ नहीं कहा था लेकिन आप उनसे ही कुछ सीख लीजिए Ashwarya Palivale is joining us live with more details on this. So Ashwarya, you've got the BJP reiterating their demand for an apology. In the midst of that, Rahul Gandhi saying, let me speak. BJP saying he should apologize. Zero business in Parliament. Well, you know, uh, uh, Akshita, what we have been seeing over the past many days is the fact that the Bharatiya Janata Party is very adamant on the fact that they want Rahul Gandhi to apologize for what he has said in the UK. Rahul Gandhi and Team Congress have been time and again saying whatever he said in UK is not something that is false. He did not say anything which was a lie. What he said was, in fact, the truth. And now we are seeing how the top leaders of the Bharatiya Janata Party are now asking Rahul Gandhi to apologize and are also saying that what he has done is now putting Indian people in danger. Ashwarya, stay on with me. I just want to highlight for our viewers all that's happened in the last few hours, particularly what Rahul Gandhi has said in uh, his press conference. Remember, he was wanting to speak uh, essentially in Parliament at 2 p.m. is when the proceedings resumed. In a matter of over one minute, the logjam continued and you saw again the House being adjourned. So the BJP is demanding that Rahul Gandhi issue an apology, the opposition raising the Adani issue and that's where the stalemate lies.